Okay, I'm going to show you that prostitution is a wicked sin. A wicked sin of prostitution. That's what this is called. Got some points written down here about why prostitution is a wicked sin. First of all, it's fornication. Uh, but prostitution is, in fact, condemned in Scripture. Because it is not only fornication, it's also, you know, all kinds of it. It's whoredom, all this other stuff. But here's some points I have written down. First of all, prostitution caused a harlot, which is a prostitute, to be burnt. Back in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 38, verse 24. And it came to pass about three months after that he was told Judah, saying, Tamar, my daughter-in-law, hath played the harlot, and also, uh, behold, she is with child by whoredom. And Judah bring her forth, and, and Judah said, Bring her forth, and let her be burnt. So when she was playing a harlot, a prostitute, and when she was bringing forth a child through a whoredom, she got burnt. Prostitution was not taken lightly back then. It was a very serious crime. Next point, when parents prostitute their daughters, the land falls into horde and wickedness. Leviticus chapter 19, verse number 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to become a whore, lest the land fall into whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. So when you prostitute your daughter, get into fornication, which is what prostitution is, the land becomes falls into whoredom, falls into wickedness, falls into all kinds of other perversion. Never good to let your daughter become a prostitute. Next point, prostitution and witchcraft go hand in hand. Nahum chapter 3, verse 4. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, that selleth nations through, their whoredom, through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcraft. In the whole context there is uh, basically talking about woeing to Nineveh. But we see there, you know, multitude of whoredoms through the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. So we see a harlot, a prostitute, who is a mistress of witchcraft. Witchcraft and prostitution, and feminism too, all go hand in hand. Next point. Joining up with a harlot is wrong, and the perversion of God's plan for marriage. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15 to 16. Know ye not that your bodies are members of Christ, or the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he that which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. So it's wrong to join your body with a harlot, to go out and hire a prostitute, basically, to join up with her. It's wrong, it's wicked. And that last point, Christians are commanded to avoid fornication, which, as I mentioned earlier, is what prostitution is. It's fornication. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. So if you're going to avoid fornication, prostitution, all this other stuff, have your own wife, and stick with that wife. Have your own husband. That's simple. Avoid fornication. Avoid prostitution. It is a wicked sin. It's connected to witchcraft. It caused one of the harlots to be burnt in the Old Testament. It caused the land to fall into whoredom and wickedness. Prostitution is a wicked sin in the eyes of God. It's fornication. It's perversion. So, remember, like the Bible says, do not prostitute thy daughter. That's simple. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.